Pokemon Infinite Fusion is the gift that keeps on giving. I've always wanted a reason to use multiple Lucarios on a team, and now since I can fuse Pokemon with Lucario, I can get a bunch of awesome Aura Guardians to destroy the region of Kanto with. So today I'm attempting to beat a hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Infinite Fusion with just Lucario fusions. I have a bunch of Rayolos in the box, and on each route, the first Pokemon I see, I must catch and fuse with Rayolo. I won't be using items in battle, and I won't be leveling my Pokemon past the next gym leader's ace, and if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. Now let's see how Lucario and its amazing fusions fare, taking on the gems of Kanto. Last time we did low punny fusion, the antithesis to this video is sort of my most down bad video to my favorite Pokemon of all time video. So to begin, I name myself Aura and name my rival L plus ratio, and go to pick up my randomized starter. Why does Aura always get to pick first? Well, that's because I'm just better than you. Get L plus ratioed, idiot. Our first Pokemon to fuse with Rayolu will be Talonflame, Mareep, or Electrode. It's the best thing we have here, so I'm gonna go for Talonflame, I think. His name is L plus ratio. Surely we can beat him, right? We're the Aura Guardian. We are the one that will defeat all. Okay, that is disgusting. Hopefully we can defeat it. Uh, oh, we've got good moves, so we should be good. God damn it. Sonic Boom! Well, luckily, the Nuzlocke does not begin until we gain Pokeballs. Otherwise, that would have been bad. Alright, see ya, L plus ratio. You won this time, but you won't win next time. I defeat L plus ratio and head on to the route to get my first encounter. Center Honchkrow. Wow, that could actually be a really sick fusion. Oh, we get our free gift Pokemon here. Alright, our gift encounter is... Sheldar. This is gonna fuse into something super lame. I can already tell. We fuse both our starter and Sheldar with Rayolu to get these. Uh, Talon Lu? Maybe when it evolves, it'll be nice. But it's probably really good as like an early game Pokemon to have. You... Jun? Ha! Yeah, that's um creepy as shit. Shell Lu. So far, our fusions have definitely not been that good. But hopefully when they evolve into Lucario, they look a little bit better. Heading up to Route 2, we find Ferratula. <laughs> Veratula! Okay, which we catch and separate to fuse with Rayolu. He looks kind of cute still. I like his feet. And then in Viridian Forest, we catch our next encounter being a Golink. Golink? Golbat? Shinx? Fusion? I mean, that's fine, I guess. That was a crit, but we didn't take it out. Two, three... Four, let's go. Golinx was caught. We then find our way through the rest of the forest and arrive in Pewter City. I, I don't want to actually use two water Pokemon, so I think I'm going to unfuse for Alligator. We're going to fuse Rayolu into Galvantula. Galvantula and Rayolu fusing together equals uh something. The power of Christ compels you. Guess we'd go poison? Over flying? Okay, it's hideous! My current team consisted of Golu, Talonlu, Shellu, and Ryotula. This time, Brock is a bug specialist, and that means Golu and Talonlu are perfect Pokemon to take it on. Spinamanda! Leading with Golu, we knock out his first Pokemon, Spinamanda, with three bites, and his Spinarak Voltorb fusion with two bites as well. Let's go! With Gym Badge 1 in hand, it was time to make our way to Route 3 and Mount Moon. Route 3. Okay, our Route 3 encounter is... Damn, really Ninkata out of everything? Ninkata? Okay, well, you know, I mean, maybe a Shedinja could be cool. Holy shit. Okay, I'm actually stoked we got that. <laughs> okay, I'm actually stoked we got that. We need to evolve it into Shedinja, though. Okay, so how do you evolve it into Shedinja? That's my next question. Oh, hey, what's up, nurse? Oh, the Geodude's sick? Oh my god, of course, here comes Brock running over. Of course you want to stay here with the nurse. Classic Brock. Weren't you a bug expert, not a rock expert? What are you talking about? I catch a Raichu in Mount Moon and find Team Rocket's up to no good. And they make me fight this scientist. Oh my lord, that did a lot of damage. But we do even more back, baby. Sorry, scientist. Uh, we defeat him and press on towards Cerulean City. Okay, so our actual encounter is a... Nidorina. Alright, let's do these fusions, baby. We get to see Raichu 
and need a Rena fusion now. But Ninlu looks sick. That's like our first proper like custom fusion sprite. Maybe Raichu will have like a proper fusion. Let's see. Uh, if we need to reverse fuse it, we can. Jesus Christ. You know, I have a feeling though, once all of these turn into their Lucario versions, they're going to look way cooler and then it's really going to be fine. First thing I do when I get there is go take on L plus ratio. Let's go, bro. Bro, he has the super potion cringe. Probably go for the uh, bites, I guess. No, we'll go for the force bombs. We know it's decent. All right. And it knocks it out. Let's go. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> All right. L plus ratio. Take the L, please. Pushing up into Nugget Bridge, Team Rocket tries to recruit me, but I ain't about that life. I'm not joining Team Rocket, man. I'm sorry. What I am about, though, is our next encounter. Hey! Right on. Oh my god. We catch a Rhydon for our encounter and then witness the murder of a Rhydon when Bill unfuses with it. I will now test the effects of using DNA splices on a human by using it on myself and this Rhydon. Uh, okay. Man just fused himself into a Rhydon. Okay. Hello there. Wait, what? Where did the Rhydon go? Did you kill the Rhydon? We never see this Rhydon again, and I'm pretty sure it's dead for good. He gives us the SSN ticket as hush money, and we go to take on Misty. On the way back to the gym, though, our Ninjas fusion evolves, and it splits into its two different forms, being Shed Ninja and Ninjask. Hey, Ninlu's evolving. Now, this should evolve into Ninjask, and then it should have a offshoot of Shedinja, I think. Now the question is, did it offshoot into Shedlu? It did! And I assume it has Wonder Guard? It does. Let's go. Okay. Missy is a fairy specialist this time around, which could be problematic. But with two Force Palms, we managed to knock out her first Pokemon Mer Jr. and in comes Jiglion. What the heck? And full paralyzed. That's it. It's over. Force Palm! From here, I head down onto the route for our next two encounters. First being a Munchlax, who has a pretty cute fusion, and second being Pawniard, which has a pretty cool fusion as well. Rayolu Bishop looks sick. Okay, that's actually really cool. Arriving in Vermilion City, I run around to get the three encounters I can before heading to the SSN. The most important of the bunch being... <gasps> Darkrai. This is priority. If we have to lose something, it has to die. I do not care. Oh, big dodge. Force palm. Perfect amount of damage. Stay in the ball, Darkrai, please. One. Oh, nope. Okay, 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 okay. Spam, be spam. Mm, why isn't it working? Stay in the ball, please, Darkrai. Stay in the ball. Okay, yeah. I don't know how we're going to do this, actually, to be honest. Oh, it has ominous wind. Yikes. Stay in the ball. 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 One, two, three. Game Boy Luke. Let's go! We didn't lose anything and we got Dark Rye. Whoa. Okay, I was expecting that to look bad, but far out. That looks absolutely amazing. Dark Lou. On the SSM, we run into L plus Ratio, who wants to fight, of course. He leads with Weeping Ling, and we take it out with two air cutters before in comes Sand Attack. Sand Attack. Whoa! Magnitude 7. There it is. Is that Golu dead? Ah, uh, pain, suffering. It's real. Oh, wait. No, Shell Lou is actually kind of good because it has Icicle Spear, which should do decent. Yes, Icicle Spear. Go! Decent enough. We two shot it with Icicle Spear. And we have relatively low risk. Hopefully it just hits itself. Perfect. Okay. I wish you did that last turn, but I'll take it. So we take it down with it. Of course you have Super Potion. Um, that's fine. Force Palm should take it out. Let's go. And its final Pokemon is Blast Guma. Thunderbolt. See you later, Blast Guma. Blast my balls. Pick out the remainder of his Pokemon, no problem, but I guess I got ratioed this time since I lost a Pokemon. Defeating him, however, did earn us cut, meaning we can get into the next gym. Now, this gym puzzle sucks more than I do on a Friday night. Like, goddamn, RNG puzzles like this should not be in the world. Anyway, with both buttons pressed, we attempt to fight Lieutenant Surge. Milk Pony. Alright, let's go for the force palm on it. Ryochu, no! What? Milta, you fat shit! Oh my lord, though. I can't believe we lost. No! I didn't want to lose Ryochu. 
Leaving the gym with Badge 3 in hand and Raichu in the grave, I push on towards the next route, where I found a Shroomish as my next encounter. We catch it and head down to one of the worst places in the entire game, Rock Tunnel. I hate this place because I can never be bothered to go and get Flash. But we did manage to catch an Alakazam at the power plant and a Dugong just outside the plant. Inside the cave, however, I caught a Wooper Absol Fusion, but the only Pokemon I ended up using was Alakazam. Okay, I'm low-key expecting this fully to suck. Yep. Hideous demon blue monstrosity being with uh, two evil whiskers. Um, okay. It's dangerous to go alone. Take what? This is a Zelda reference. What the heck? That was random. And a Gibble as well. That's kind of good. A Garchomp Lucario fusion could be really cool. I made my way past Lavender Town and towards Celadon City now, finding and catching a Mew along the way. Hopefully something good like a Mew. Let's go. And wouldn't you know it, for my next catch encounter, it was good. God. Good. Like... We just got Mew, and now we get Arceus. But unfortunately, we ran out of Pokeballs, meaning, unfortunately, we had to send it to the grave. One. Ah! Goodbye, God. Okay, it's fusion sucked, so I'm not even mad. I walked an Eevee around the city today and got a Yarn Mega as a reward. Who would ultimately live in the box for forever, but that doesn't matter because we met up with Erika in the sewer today. I ended up catching a Kingdra down here, and we also had an encounter on Route 16 as well, where I found... If we can catch Haxvoir, we get access to Haxorus and Gardevoir. Stay in. The ball! Let's freaking go! We got Haxwa, baby. As I made my way through the sewer, my Riolus began evolving one after another, leading to a bunch of cool final stage fusions. Please be a super sexy, I mean super cool and useful Pokemon. Damn! God of all fusion is like a furry's dream, and the Shelter Lucario fusion looked pretty sick. That's badass! He's got a freaking cloister spear and armor! Let's go! Next to evolve was Dark Blue, creating possible Possibly my favorite fusion of the run. Whoa! That has got to be one of my favorite fusions, I think, ever. Oh my god, that's sick! Well, I thought that was my favorite until I saw the next fusion, being the Alakazam fusion. Ooh, what? That's sick! It's like, got the aura of... Or Blast here and it's got the spoons. Oh my god, this is a sick fusion. Lucasam? Yes, daddy. Oh my lord. With our evolved team, we managed to take down Giovanni's first Pokemon, Mr. Let, with ominous wind from Darkario. We pin Fury. But since we were confused, I decided to switch out and Cloyario knocked him with an icicle spear. His final Pokemon was Chansey, and although it had a lot of health, we managed to finish it off with an Aura Sphere from Alakazario. God damn, this Alakazam fusion is sick. Oh my god. Erika this time round is a Dragon Specialist, so I take Luck of War, Cloyario, and Darkario. Her first Pokemon, Agno, being Steel is super effective against my Gardevoir fusion, so I swap to Darkario to take it out. Garlet. Oh, that's so cute. Luck of War manages to tank a dig and take it out with a Moonblast before in comes Shed Knight. Here's the problem with Shed Knight. If it has Wonder God, then um, what can hit it? Please just don't hit yourself. Let's go. Well, it didn't have Wonder God. Interesting. Okay. That was sick. Oh my god. Cool Pokemon. But uh, unfortunately, it's not enough to stop me. So give me my rainbow badge. This time, I wanted to do that thing where you do the gym slightly out of order. Taking down Giovanni and Sabrina before Koga. Just for the meme, you know. But as I battled my way through the Team Rocket infested tower, I came to regret that decision, arriving at the next Giovanni battle. And L plus ratio are supposed to work together in this fight, but as you will see, he gives me another reason to hate him. Leading with Bayou and Melosi, our Darkario is instantly dropped below half from a Hydro Punt from Melosi. L plus ratio's Togedom knocks out Bayou as I swap over to Haxario. Dual Chop should knock out Melosi. If we don't miss! So why did you not Aura Sphere Vigo Mortar? Also, why is Vigo Mortar level 51? And what the heck? We just got crit! Haxario, no! Why is it level 51? What the heck? We hit Vigor Mortar with a couple of Aura Spheres and Electrophy finishes off with a Power Gem. 
Rappalord, oh my lord. I switched to Luckazam to avoid Cloyario being taken out, only for Rappalord to go for a Fire Blast and one-shot Luckazam. <laughs> Luckazam, no! I send in Luck of One next, and before it even gets a chance to move, Rappalord hits me with another Fire Blast, bringing me down to the red. Phew! Fortunately, we survived that, and Melosi can't hit me with a Dragon Pulse because we are immune to it being a Fairy type. But then. Oh no, Discharge! Electrifies it! You really just kill me! L plus ratio! What are you doing? You're destroying our team! Electrophy goes for a discharge, knocking out Luck of War. Killing my Pokemon in the process. <laughs> Go for Electrophy. I don't care for it anymore. Oh, now you Power Gem instead. And down it goes. We lost half our freaking team there. With all these Pokemon dead, I had to come up with some new team members. So before I went to take on Sabrina, I decided to go and take on Koga first. With my head hung in shame, I make my way back to Lavender Town to get the flute from the graveyard. I picked up the Wimshop as my encounter in the tower, and fusing them together looks pretty damn cool. Lucario plus Bishop equals... What the heck? That's sick. That's like a butter freaking aura swordsman thing. Okay, that's sick. We then fused Shedinja with Lucario, adding Shadario back to the team. And this thing should be good with Wonderguard. This has no right to be this cool. What the hell? I pick up a Lampet on the next round. And just before arriving in Fuchsia City, I find... Oh, okay. We fuse it with Lucario and get a Rito from the Legend of Zelda. I then go and get a Dusk Stone and evolve Lampet to fuse with Lucario and get this amazing fusion as well. Whoa! Oh, damn! He's got like purple flames, ghost flames coming out the back of him. Oh my god, this is sick. What? My Safari Zone encounter provides me with a sweet confusion and fusing it with Lucario gives this. Whoa! Lucka Coon? Oh, shay! So, for a quick team recap, I'm bringing Blazario, Chandirio, Luka Coon, Luka Sharp, Darkario, and Shedario to take on Koga. Alright, let's go, Master Koga. Oh, he's using the special beam cannon. You see that? Special beam cannon! What the hell? Jolo Dial? That's creepy as shit. Yeah, take these bones. Jolo Dial down with a couple of bone rushes. What the hell? Holy shit, that is really, really, really cool. But I don't think it's gonna be able to hit me. And it's taking damage from its black sludge. Unlucky L. You know what's good? Like, if it was just a normal shit injure, it would have gone down to that because it's weak to flying because it's bug type. But since it's steel, it resists it. Okay, goodbye Abrus. All right, goodbye Sneechum and goodbye Gym Leader Koga, aka Master Koga. After beating Koga, I caught a Mimikyu on the bike bridge and fused them together to get this. Oh, that's sick. Mimario. I'm back, Sabrina. I was gonna come fight you earlier, but uh, l let's not talk about it. This time, she's a fighting specialist, and the majority of my Pokemon were steel types, so this could be interesting. This actually might be a very difficult fight. Uh, so we're gonna lead with Luka Kun, I guess. Take Chandirio, Lazario, and I guess Luka Sharp. What the hell? Magnachan. Okay, so it's still fighting, so we can actually just go for Aura Sphere and maybe take it out. Ooh, close. Okay, we're good. Oh, withdrawing. Interesting. Lucky Inix. Whoa! But it's got sturdy. Damn it, if it didn't have sturdy, I it was gonna you. heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waste away the max potions. Literally nobody cares, bro. And down goes Lucky Inix uh, after I don't know how many hits. But that was a pretty cool fusion. I rate it. I'll just go for the surf. Oh, 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 oh. Why am I like this? I loved Luka Coon. And out comes what? Magna Chan. Okay, well, we knock it with Flame Burst at least. I'm so pissed about losing Sweet Coon. Big Dodge, you can't see me. Hex, go. One shot, Arakan. See you later, Arakan. 
And finally, Venonape. And let's be done with this hellhole. I can't believe we lost Suicune. I'm actually devastated. No. And it lived? We should outspeed, right? No, I... We didn't, but we... Oh, my God. Give me the mask badge and let me get the heck out of here before you take any more of my Pokemon. This has been horrible. This late game has been horrible. I'm losing Pokemon after Pokemon. Heading down to Cinnabar Island, I catch a Togekiss, Dino, and Chinchow. Togekiss being the only one I end up fusing. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. No one gets on the sea gallop unless they've got the pass. I don't have a sea gallop pass, man. Wait, they just steal the boat? They took it. I wasn't fast enough and they took the sea gallop. Stop, don't let them get to Mount Ember. Wait, I have to go help them? You guys deal with that. I gotta go take on the gym. I find the old man at the bottom of the mansion and proceed to battle him in the gym. Gliscor? Lucario fusion. I don't know if I like it, but it is a thing and it exists here. It it's got... Probably Earthquake or something, right? Oh, Sky Uppercut. Why is Ario? No, man. Are you kidding? Warsphere should take it out though, right? So long, eh, Bowser. It's swapping. You're scared it gets Sky Sharp. Okay, that's cool. And it's dead. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Uh, let's just go for Flame Burst. Probably better. It's not. Okay, well, we'll just take it out next turn with an Aura Sphere then, right? This should knock it. It doesn't, but uh, the burn will kill it, at least, I think. Burn knockout for Remory. And Glissario is back, but you don't have your attack boost anymore, boy. So I'm just going to destroy you with an Aura Sphere. Oh, wasted turn swords dancing, boy. Aura Sphere, go! We did lose Blaziken, though. That is disappointing, because Blaziken was actually pretty damn good. Leaving the gym, I give chase to Team Rocket and make my way over to Mount Ember. We make our way down into the volcano and come face to face with Giovanni yet again. Alright, what's up, Mr. Giovanni? Alright, what's up, Zap Molkuno? Let's do this. Cleario, go! Now, the idea here is obviously to go for Surf and hit all of them, right? And Haze? Flamethrower? Go for it. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, we're neutral because we're steel water. I was like, why did Flamethrower do so much? Well, that didn't go according to plan. I mean, if anything else is going to go, we sacrifice Chandirio because we can have the replacement for it already. Okay, that's fine. We take that. We do not take that, probably. This has gone bad real quick. What the heck? It's not enough to take it out and that's going to do a lot. Oh my god. Okay, that shouldn't do too much. But we're frozen? You need to break out first turn. Oh, let's go! Moltres down. Now, as long as her Aria doesn't die here, I can swap over to Shedinja and we're good. And we win. We're, we're safe. Now Shedario can clutch up for us. Let's freaking go, man. So I might as well just max out my attack and then just go for... Shadow Sneak. All right, okay. Ice Beam, as long as this doesn't freeze, we're good. Let's go. Horse See you later, loser. With Giovanni finally defeated, I've nearly completed the run. All we have to do now is beat the final gym and take on the Elite Four. Oh, we've got to fight Giovanni again? Okay. Well, facing Giovanni once more, and for the final time, I may add, I add Ho-Ario and Togiario to the team. Goodbye, Dragatooth. Get on. Is this ground or rock? Rock! Let's go! Whoa! Reshikun? That is sick! What the heck? Fusion Flare? Oh, God. Oh, we can go into Ho-Ario. Maybe it doesn't have any water moves. That's, just, that's all I can hope, honestly. I'm gonna Calm Mind twice, I think, and raise our special defense, so none of its moves should do too much to me. Mind Blast! Delete Reshikun. Two Pokemon left. Pontini! Okay, was not expecting that, but all right. Here, take this Aura Sphere, boy. Here, take an Aura Sphere. Hummy, hummy, ha! <laughs> All right, Giovanni. Well, I'd say that went well. See you, Giovanni. Have fun uh, trying in the gym, I guess. On our way to the league, we run through L plus ratio, destroying his whole team, and find a Deoxys as our victory road encounter. Deoxys! Fusing it to give this pretty cool fusion. But I ended up using the goofy reverse fusion since I liked its typing better. Uh, now we gotta push another boulder so far. I hate these boulder puzzles. They suck. Guys, isn't this fun? Engaging. Engaging content. After finally making our way out of the cave, I arrive at the Indigo Plateau. And so our league battle marathon 
begins. First of course being Lorelei, and just like in the last video, one Pokemon manages to burn through all her Pokemon as we boost Horario's special attack with Carmine and then roll through all her Pokemon. Whoa, Blaze Champ, that's insane! Brain Blast, see you later. Let's freaking go. Next up was Bruno, and although it was pretty easy, one difference was the Spiritina, who kind of did scare me, but ultimately we burned through his Pokemon as well, approaching the Granny Agatha. Emperade was her first Pokemon, and Darkaru does barely any damage to it with an Aura Sphere, so I attempted to put it to sleep. Unfortunately, we missed though and get trapped in a whirlpool. This meant we could not swap out. Fortunately, I land to sleep the following turn, and just as we were about to take it out with a nightmare, Agatha full restores it. I attempt to sleep it again next turn, but we miss. But fortunately, now we are free from the whirlpool, allowing me to swap out, and so I send out Shidario to knock it out with a few shadow balls. That's only the first Pokemon though, what the hell? We knock out Aegis Flame with a Sacred Fire, and then her Ditlix with a quite effective Aura Sphere, before unfortunately, right, we'll just go for another Sacred Fire, I guess? Tragedy strikes. Hilario is probably my best Pokemon. I can't have that die on me. What the hell, man? My disappointment was immeasurable, but thankfully, Memorius slowly works it down from here and takes out it and Magnatula, bringing me to our fight with Lance. This fight went far smoother than our last fight as Darkarian knocks out his first Pokemon with a few ominous wins. As Larynx comes in, I swap over to the Deoxys Fusion and it takes way too much damage on entrance and then gets fully paralyzed. So I swapped over to Luka Shop and knock it out with an Iron Head. Nice. All right. On to the next. Rhydos. Wow. Okay. Ah, Mega Horn. Ah, jokes. Take the Iron Head. Is it ground flying? Okay. I think one more power up punch and we knock it out. We should take that. Paralyzed. So annoying. No. At least we took it out with one more power up punch. And I think our attack stat is now max. Okay, Vulture's down. Let's finish it with an Aura Sphere. Oh no, it confused itself? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Thank God. <laughs> I didn't knock it. All right, yeah, I am swapping. <laughs> what the heck? Hit with the Shadow Sneak 2. Knock it out. Goodbye, Amphipoke. And goodbye, Lance, as well, I think. That just leaves the champion. And uh, that should be pretty easy, I would assume, right? And we've made it to the champion, but with only five Pokemon. This could be difficult. Can we beat him? Well, let's find out. There's the Dark Pulse. We're also Dark, mate, you idiot. Take an Aura Sphere. Waste a full restore. By all means, should two shot with Aura Sphere. Waste another full restore. Go for it, mate. Ooh, crit. Nice. We like that. Full restore. Aura Sphere. <laughs> okay. And then next time we should take it out with another Aura Sphere or not. Fine. Paltomb? Is that Palkia Spiritomb? What is... Okay, so this one's Ghost. I forgot to... Uh... I mean, this is the final fight. We can lose Darkario here and it not be the end of the world. I think we just go for the Hypnosis. Oh, let's go! Might just inflict the Nightmare. We can swap because it dies next turn to the Nightmare, right? It shouldn't have anything that can hit this, I don't think. There's the full restore. That's fine because we've swapped over and now we should be able to just Nasty Plot to the max. And then we should be able to one-shot it with a Shadow Ball, I think. <laughs> Oh, almost. Okay, withdraw. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, Spiridos is back. What a surprise. Here, hold my Shadow Ball. Hold my Aura Sphere. Bra! It's... You either get two balls from Shadario, the Aura Ball or the Shadow Ball. Whoa. That is a sick design. Holy moly. This fits a final fight. That's for sure. Take the Aura Sphere, though. Oh, no. It outspeeds and it takes us out. Rip Shadario, man. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Orosphere will do decent. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's fine. We should take a thing. We, we take one, okay. And we knock out Hydrazar. Okay. All right, now Dragon Pulse will take this out. Goodbye, Paltoom. See you later. Pinzor. What is that? Pinsaw and, and Sizzle. Hopefully it's Steel. Okay. Lucaxus is dead. But that's all right. The team is slowly falling apart. <laughs> Lucas Sharp could come in and clutch. Uh, might go for the power-up punch in all honesty, because we resist the iron heads. Okay, one more and we knock it. Please no flinch, no flinch, uh -oh. no flinch. Lucas Sharp's dead. We're gonna have to roll eye on Mimario, aren't we? 
He's out of full restores at least. That is the one good thing. We might outspeed. All we have left is Mimiario. I don't have a lot of confidence. I do have a turn to Hone Claws since we have Disguise. Okay, we take the eye. Do we not have Disguise? Okay, Shadow Sneak, knock it out. Get rid of Pinzor. Now, our Play Rough is going to be strong. We'll go for the Play Rough. As long as this thing doesn't have Explode, we might be able to make it through. <gasps> I missed the Thunder. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It has leftovers. Of course it does. Okay, that's fine. One, one more play rough after this. As long as he doesn't land the thunder, we're good. Nope. <gasps> You're joking. Please, 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 please. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, it's doable. Just. It's just doable. Aurosphere? Okay. That's solid. It was a crit, though, and it only did that much. It might not be able to hit me, though. It might not be able to hit me, because I'm ghost-type. It might not. Second Aura Sphere. We need... Oh, there's a Future Sight. Okay, that can hit me. As long as we outpace the Future Sight. Oh, no, the full para. Stop. Stop. Stop raising your defense. Crit, 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 crit. Bruh. Future Sight does no damage. We've done it. We've done it, right? Aurosphere? Oh my... Okay, go for the future site. We've won. We've won. Oh my god, paralyzed. Come on, just get the Aura Sphere off. I'm charging the car. May. May. Goodbye, Gerard Champ. Let's go. That was extremely freaking close. L. L, 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 L plus ratio, take the L, loser, idiot. We barely completed Pokemon Infinite Fusion using only Lucario Fusions. I got to use my favorite Pokemon Fuse with a bunch of other Pokemon, and it was insanely fun, and so many cool fusions. If you enjoyed the video, smash like on it, and if you're new, subscribe. We've got new videos pretty much every single week, so uh, if you like this one, you might like some of the others, and uh, a couple of suggestions are right here. So, uh, yeah, check one out.